Welcome back to Banner Saga. We'll have a couple conversations, then be on our way. I'd ask how you're dealing with Wagner's death, but I already know the answer. Do you? Steady old mugger, which is good. I know most of these Varl, but they're not under my command. They come to follow Wagner. Tell you the truth, I wouldn't want to be in your position either. Hmm... Haven't you ever wanted to be in command? More than I am. Any more rope and I'd be hanging myself. I doubt that. I forgot. You weren't around back then. At one point, I had more rope. I hung myself. So no, I'm not interested in command. It's all yours. Thanks. You think we're walking into a death trap? This many Varl? No, we should be alright. Things could get rough, though. I don't like being the one to send Varl to their deaths. I like worrying about myself, and that's the extent of it. Who would have expected Wagner to drop like that to a couple of slag? I'm still wondering what happened. He had hundreds of dead slag to his name. I don't get it. It just happens sometimes. No big moment. I'm sure it surprised him even more than us. Although, I have to wonder. Nah, never mind. Anyway. I'll worry about the warriors. You worry about not doing something stupid. That's asking a lot. Anything you can tell me? Throw together this many Varl. Half of them want to hit each other. The rest want to be left alone. Anyone I should keep an eye on? There's a couple of clan leaders trying to show off for each other. Not a big deal. I've got it under control. The fighters we just got from Strand aren't bad, but they're unruly. Give it a few days. And there are a few moaning about fighting for you instead of Wagner. Those are the ones to worry about. What about Luden's men? They don't even want to hear anything from me. I know that. Any problems? Could be. Luden's pet Varl named Bercy. I'm not sure where he comes from, but what his deal is. Bastard knows how to fight, but there's something I don't like about him. His girl in red is scary too. Ursa. She's probably the best fighter Luden's got. To be honest, I've overheard some of the Varl call her the Witch. Why? The flame and arrows, I think. It's a good trick, but the fire upsets our Varl more than the dredge. Still doesn't make much sense. Which? They're not scholars, Hakon. I think they're mostly just afraid of her. That makes some sense. Don't let her find out. What are you holding back? I'd rather not say, Hakon. Why not? It's the kind of thing that gets stuck in your head, and you need a clear one. It's better if you let me worry about it. If you say so. If there's a reason to bring it up again, I will. Let's get back. Let me know if you need anything. I will. Now we'll talk to the Scrivener. You knew him well, didn't you? Wagner? No. Ah, uh, well, I don't know. I remember him. Always rushing around with some important business, but I never knew him. Never got a chance to talk much. Longer than I longer than I did in any case. I suppose so. When he spoke, Varl listened. I knew that. I could use help there. The Scrivener leans back, considering the sentiment. I've seen worse. They respect you for your ability to swing an axe. They need to respect you for your actions. But you're not talking to the right Varl. Moger's got some skill there. Most I can do is hold a quill. What are you always putting down in that journal of yours? How do you mean? What do I write? I write what happens. They've got a banner in Aberang for that, you know. You mean the long banner? Yes, the menders wove up something that writes its own history. You want my opinion? I don't trust it. No? It tells a broad story. I think there's some value in the narrow. Whose story does it write? Mine? Theirs? Ludens? Gods forbid. Nah, you relic. The gods have been dead for a long time. Oh, have they? Old habits, I suppose. I heard you were a terror in your day. Do you know how old I am? Dare I ask? I'm competing, you know. Nobody knows how old Weavaro can get, naturally. There's one by the name of Snorri. He's got a few years on me. Just hunkers in Grofheim collecting rhyme. Bastard might actually beat me. Another one named Crummer is close, I think. But the adult son of a bitch still welcomes a fight. He'll probably be off before I am. 
Although, the Scrivener gestures him around him as if to remind you of the current situation. You chuckle. Anyways, point is, what difference does it make? I'm just a delivery barn for the Jor for Jorunder now. Can't remember half of what I've done. Hence the journal? Hence? Don't get fancy on my behalf, Hakon. Oh, I won't. What do you suppose happened? The sun. Gods, how should I know? Never seen something like that before. Are you worried? Some of the Varl in the caravan think the world's coming to an end. Others think it's the best thing that could happen. No more black months. I'll take it. If it's the end, I'm ready. What about the rest of us? To the depths with you. Ha! Get some rest. I've hoofed more hills than a horse born with a grudge. Don't worry about me. Alright. Got... I don't need to look at the map so much. I think we are good to... What, that's the heroes. Okay. Let's get out of here. Need more renown for more upgrades. From... Veg fell to the next. Look at that, says Moger. In the hills, more dredge. No more than a dozen, though. We could just as easily pass by as rush up to there to slaughter them. Luden overhears. That's a dozen dredge heading towards Strand, he says. You ask him when he started to care about Strand. I don't. I thought you did. It'd be a waste of time. Strand can handle that. We'll deal with it ourselves. The caravan stops and waits while you lead a small detachment up the hillside to take care of the dredge quickly. You tell Luden to stay by the caravan. He folds his arms and mutters something about being treated like a child. I get to pick my load up, though. This is a great chance for renown. Oh, that's a, quite a few. Alright, battle order. I'd rather rush the small detachment. You can go behind. Oh. Something like that. I, I, I'm feeling this. I'm feeling this. Cool. You're gonna go down. Oh, oh, I was like, he can reach that? I'd be like, holy shit. Right, you just need to move. Let them chase. Use one spirit point, but... Take him down. Take those easy fights. Okay, these are different. Dredge Grunt. Uh-oh. Same st Okay, it's just, you know, visual difference. Now, he has... Rally? Gives willpower to allies and light step. Yeah, he's not so hot right now. Yeah, why don't you just go over here, get some work done. They're gonna move. Mm, not too useful just yet. If we can move along that diagonal. Let's do that. That way he can't directly assault, I think. Yep. You know, coming in through the front door. And he gets a kill. Wonderful. They can probably get involved. No, not quite. And you're down. Alright, we're doing pretty good here. Oh wait, Sundering, uh, but I can take him out, so... Better to get the kill.
but you'll take care of it. Awesome. Oh. Hawk on! You hear Luden's hard-booted trot as you set up camp the first day and brace yourself. Can we speak as equals? We can try. It seems clear to me that your plan to kill a lot of dredge along the way, am I right? Go out of my way. You're not wrong. Then listen carefully. Don't assume only the Varl can fight. Do you understand me? That is my banner we fly to Grofheim, the banner of Arborang I insist on joining in battle. Almost gotten your first encounter and ready for more. Whatever you like, Prince. And, um, I expected more resistance. From Wagner, maybe. They tell me you were his kinder. That's why you're in charge now. Some kind of next of kin varl thing. Don't you take on his responsibilities? In my own way. Then stop acting like I'm a thorn in your side. When you're nearly 200 years, it's hard to take a 20-year-old man, is that right? Seriously. You better start. We'll both be kings someday. That's the last thing I need to think about right now. Luden looks at you as though you just punched yourself in the face. He heads back to his tent before saying whatever was on his mind. On Exertion. You've gotten some characters with high exertion. Don't overlook this important stat. Exertion lets you add more willpower to your actions. Want to add more than one star to your attack? Upgrading to three exertion lets you add three damage to every attack, or move three spaces. Remember, each stat is equally important. Okay. So here's... His, like, personal guard. Ursa, right? She watches you approach with her head tilted back and points a thumb towards Luden's tent. No, here for you. Oh. Can we talk? Ursa shakes her head no and a smile on her lips, eyelids low. Why not? I don't. In these two curiously contradictory words, you get two impressions. She has a beautiful obsidian voice, and this might be a complete waste of time. She watches you. You don't talk. It's about the flaming arrows. You're Luden's bodyguard. Well, this has been fun. Mm hmm. You don't talk, eh? No. Yes, you do, though. I don't. It's about the flaming arrows. She raises an eyebrow. Var and fire don't get along. All you get is a shrug. If you're going to use them, she pulls an arrow. There's a flick of the wrist, and you don't quite catch. Suddenly, a bird combusts in the tree behind you and falls to the ground, smoldering. Half the camp is turned to watch. Don't tell me not to. She watches you expectantly. You're Luden's bodyguard? No, he's mine. Before you have the chance to be confused, she cackles, abrupt and loud, then looks slightly embarrassed. You're his personal guard, though. Her expression changes to, of course. How did you end up with someone like Luden? Luck. She was Well, this has been fun. Puts her arms, hand on her chin, and cocks her head to one side. Until next time, Yursa. Hakan, you stop and look over your shoulder. I am a witch, so be careful. She puts her forefinger to her lips, the soft shh. You depart, not quite sure what to make of that. Maybe she's a witch. Or maybe she just wants us to think she's a witch. Who's this guy? You have a moment? As you approach Bercy, he lowers the book he was reading. He doesn't strike you as the book-reading type. You're Bercy. You're Hawkon. We've gotten that out of the way, haven't we? I had some questions. Say what you want to say. What's Alvaro doing working for Luden? 
What's a VAR doing working for another VAR? That, what difference does it make? It looks like you're in charge now. So do me a favor and don't get Luden killed. He's important to you? No, but that's one way to put it. Where'd you learn to fight? Same way as you, by fighting. You know what I mean. I robbed a well-protected merchant for at least one man's lifetime. Is that what you mean? Yeah, not anymore. I've had a lot of jobs. Can I trust you? What a loaded question. Depends what you mean. Whose back will you have if things go wrong? Assume I'm looking out for myself, and you'll figure it out. Does Luden understand that? Luden doesn't understand that half his army are here just to protect him from the people he talks to. You laugh at the unexpected gouge. Percy grins, pleased with himself. I won't keep you. See you on the battlefield, O leader of Varl. You could join us. I'm where I want to be. Don't forget what I said about keeping Luden alive. Got it? As you step away, you can't help but wonder if there was a bit of threat behind that gravelly request. I think it's time for some training. Do we have... Okay, we have stuff to spend. He needs upgrade if I can afford it. Alright, Luden. Oh, he can already break... Oh. I'm... I'm a little disappointed in myself. And I can't afford your upgrade. Yeah, so he... Okay, so I do have the option for... More Varl. Warhawk. He has... Tempest. Cool. Oh. 9-12. Hmm. He's got some potential. He doesn't have much break. Do a spin attack. He has... 2 break. 12-16-11-2-2. 12-16-11-2-2. This guy is way better. Bercy is definitely a number 2. Unless we lose access for st whoa, for story purposes. Whoa. Oh. So there is no going back. Yeah, let's let's rock this loadout. I'm happy. Should probably be able to at least finish one battle. Oh my. That's quite the fight and none of them are easy either hmm you charge in go that way or maybe you go like that or like that and this guy as like a follow up or something like that. Random, let's just try that. And you're dead. And it's he took a little damage. get pretty quick far I could get up to here so if I don't I'm better if I can loop around and then use the bring the pain <laughs> yeah because you'll have to charge in that way um that's adequate set somebody else up Nothing else. Great. Six. Uh, I don't think he can double chain break. I will find out. Can he still use two more on the attack? He can. I'm kind of 
not in the best place. I'll protect you. What's her special? She has a slag and burn. Down Carl's with you one tra trap an area. Okay. Actually, who's that guy's next? Let's let's try this out. So let's go like here. Have her slag and burn. Like, right there. Nice. Well, that's easy. He's getting involved. Ouch. It's like on the cusp there. <laughs> Eric's probably going down. Uh, he can maybe kind of intervene. At least with this guy. You're dead. So dead. Oh, if he had... Hmm. Yeah. Alright, Prince. Here's a kill for you. So if we can make him a baller spearman, the utility is really nice. Slag and burn. Ouch. Um, that's good. Sundering adjacent enemies. That's that doesn't do any good. Let's just break him as best you can. <coughs> Oh, he's got nothing in the tank. He's going to quick, so I'll just move over here. Alright. There you go. Oh, dangerous. Luden. Um, I think that's... Yep, I can one-shot him. Oh. Got an extra... attack I didn't realize he was gonna get. From behind? Off with his head. Yeah, we have no renown, so there's no real point in continuing the training. So we'll pick this up in the next episode. So catch y'all then.